Hello everybody, we're here going to start our first game of my GM up and this will be kind of interesting noting what happened at the end of my NBA 2K15 which ended up with me quitting that game unfortunately because I sucked at it but alright, we're Nuggets and our overall is freaking terrible yes of course it's the 2K Sports I always -game pick show. terrible teams don't I that's right, it's here, the official start of the new NBA season. Right, I'm Ernie Johnson, down. excited to be here once again with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith for another go-around. Tonight, we'll be watching the Houston Rockets playing against the Denver Nuggets. Uh-oh, Ty Lawson. Denver. They have the unenviable task of starting the new season on the road. It won't be an easy place to pick up win number one as they'll be facing a tough environment and a team that wants to win this game as badly as they do. Of course they do. And another NBA season about to start. Shaq, we've talked about it. You can feel, I don't know, an air of excitement that's a little different than in years past. There's a number of talented teams all wanting that ring. I've said this before. Kenny has said it many times. It could be one of the best seasons we've seen in a while, including what Golden State did last that's year. That's so cliche. Ring. That was an incredible run. But some teams that looked unstoppable last year will start to show some cracks in their armor. But the other teams that didn't look like much on paper last year, beginning this season, are now looking like they will surprise. And that is it for now as we send you to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K sports group. All right. Let's get this thing started. Well, we can finally say it. The All right. NBA regular season is copyright crush strike on a, a short sports, music clip, and I will not have that go happy. down. This is Kevin Harlan along with Clark oh, yes. and Greg Anthony with Doris Burke. <coughs> All on right, the Chris lines. Paul. Let's see what we got here. A battle in the Western Conference. This Houston crowd hoping to watch their Rockets come out on top and going against right. Denver. Their first game of the NBA's regular season. Last season, they won all four games. You jerk off. Oh, man, they were I thought they knocked out of the balance. Darn it. Not surprising considering where what they the freaking heck, man? Yeah, it's oh. really plain as pound cake. They're the crap better that team. Last I mean, they'll look to prove it again here tonight. Now, now a chance. Defense. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. The starting five on the floor. Oh, so David Lee. Lee. Come on, David man. Lee is out there with Trevor Come on, Reason. dude. Then there's Noah. Then there's Kyle Corbin. Oh. oh, he missed. Nice. Well, one thing about Miss Kyle it again, Ty. Come on. Miss. Inside yes. Without a problem and knows how to yeah. Yeah. Stuff, son. And for Lawson, he is great when he attacks. He does obviously create well for his team on drives. Yeah. Oh, I made players, it. Certainly. Uh, but playing with a team that's, that's right. growing and, and pretty young around him. That's a good point. Right. Last season, Lawson no! Was about Who blew that aside? Is that you, David Lee? I mean, that means 13 points a night would be a direct result of him attacking rim. That's second in the league in a stat that only trailed that's, James Harden. I think that would surprise some people. Yes. Here is Corver. After the basket by Larry Sanders. Uh. Corver passes to Paul. Three pointer. Corbin. Boom! They really can't allow him too many open looks like that. I mean, that's just inviting trouble. And so it's Houston that's... with it. It's a three-point game. Sanders with Screwed a screen up. on Paul. Off the pick. How dare you? Denver oh, he missed. Miss. Nice. One. And here's the break. And here they go. No! Butler with the steal. He jerk off. And it's Houston on the break. Come on. Oh, yes, he, he missed. Can't camp off the break. And, and typically, he has the touch to finish when he's in tight, but not sure on that possession. Noah with it. Now defended by Sanders. Paul against Butler. Goes up on the wing. And it's yeah, Kyle Korver. The of the rim and in. Korver's got five points so far. Talk about a great start. Three of three from the field to get the game going. They're cooking with gas, folks. There's a screen by Hansbro. Hansbro setting the pick for Hayward. Oh God! Sinks the oh. There, set him up with Darn a it! Terrific look. Yeah, I like the fact that the setup was good. The screen was solid, but you also have to look at the fact that the defender didn't do his job as well as he could have. Now here's Noah, outside Corver. 
And Kyle Corbett. Oh, you foul. jerk off. No. His first foul of the game. God dang it. Come well, on. The Hall of Famer and three time champion Kevin McHale, the Rockets coach, did nothing but find success and win as a player. And you know, that's been the same song for him as a coach. They set the screen on its way from Hayward for two. Dang it. A little luck that time, but it drops. Hayward's got five. And Lawson set a really nice screen that time. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Yes, Kevin, I had a chance to catch up with Kevin McHale. He said one of the key points for them defensively will be limiting the motion no. of David Lee, adding wow. a guy who can score Screw inside up. and out, plays with great energy, and is passing really open up their whole offense. We've got Come on. and always see ball and man when he's got it. Basketball 101, Kevin. We'll see if they can execute. Thank you, Doris. The Rockets have missed both free throws they've attempted tonight. Yes. And something not a lot of people talk <laughs> about. It. Ty Lawson's defense. He has the lateral quickness, Clark, and strong lower body that gives, you know, point guards fits. Yeah, he's like a fire hydrant in terms of his build and strength. He's a good ball defender, but he gambles sometimes, so that can cut both ways. He'll get steals, but he also puts you in tough positions defensively. Come on! And stolen by Hayward. And Trevor is going to pick up a foul here. That'll be his second foul of the game. And that's two fouls for him very early in this ball game. He'll probably have to spend some time on the bench before halftime. Charlie Villanueva has checked in for the Rockets. Exum comes in for Ty Lawson. Denver also making some changes. Thaddeus Young, he's checked in for Lee. Bellinelli comes in for Trevor Ariza. And it's Nick Kalaith is in for Oh, Kyle come Kirk. on, man. In talking about Lawson's defense, he was down in steals last season. But a part of that is because he stopped gambling as much. He, he's learned where to pick his spots. Major defensive lapse right there. I mean, he's not a player you can leave open for a jump shot. You've got to stay attached to him. They're lucky he couldn't punish them for it. Goethe's kicks to Young. Oh, yes! The one -handed jam. Bang. Right high and throwing down the hard one-hander. <laughs> One of his favorite moves right there, guys. And, and really, he does that one Dang it. as well as anyone. Kev, you're right. That's like his signature move once he goes airborne. Getting back to Ty Lawson, he's under six feet without shoes, relatively short wingspan as well, yet he's always had to deal with size limitations on defense. But he uses phenomenal anticipation and speed to win more than his share of battles at that end of the floor. Four on the shot clock. Here's Bogut. No! Come on, Bogut! Houston, the other way Miss! And, and although he doesn't quite get the block, he does get the miss. Dang the it! Because of his ability to alter the shot. Well, almost as effective as a block. I mean, made him completely change his release point, and I think that caused the miss. All right. The Nuggets missed the postseason again last year. Never really had a, a good look at it. He just fell in the back of the pack. And it's the second straight year of, of not playing playoff basketball in Denver. This coming on the heels of 10 straight bursts between 04 and 13. Tim Hardaway Jr. has checked in for Houston. Splitter against Boke. Kicks it to Kalathis. Pass to Bellinelli. From eight. Ah, oh, come on. Some solid defense from Butler. And you know, for Denver, historically, they've enjoyed a lot of success for a long time. I mean, missing the playoffs consecutively might have been the wake-up call they needed to try something different going forward. A clear look for Hardaway. Come on, Defense rebound. rebound. Butler kicks to Hardaway. Oh, come on, guys. Splitter sets a screen. Hardaway dishes to Splitter. And it's Denver with the rebound. I, I still can't believe that one didn't fall. Young, it's tipped. Dang it! Can't and freaking get it the ball three. in. And there's Hardaway. That's good on the assist. Uh, wow, that's a really smooth finish. That's why we and they always love seeing him at the end of those breaks. He makes it look fun and easy. Here's Watson, and that one's there. Close. We go. Just Finally. An aggressive drive from him that time. Found a hole in the D and went straight to the rim. Butler can't get it to go. All right, Houston, coming out of the corner. And now let's hear from Ty Lawson talking about the balanced attack of this Denver Nugget team. 
we do have a team type of game. You know, everybody is scoring spread out, <laughs> rebounding, everything spread out. So, you know, even from the bench, you know, it's definitely a team type game. Well, that was the game plan a couple years ago when Denver was good enough to make the playoffs and Ty Lawson was at the control. You know, but, but not enough firepower to be able to sustain with the elite teams, uh, say like the Warriors or the Rockets. Ty Lawson, a, a solid, dependable player in our league, but this is still a league where you need your superstars to win rings. Well, it's been a tight one so far as we get the second quarter going back here. And guys for the Rockets, what Dang it, from the man. Well, they dictated tempo with their defense and, and been able to force some turnovers. Yeah, and, you know, they've also done a good job, Greg, on their end of the floor by not throwing the ball away. Austin out there with Exum. Then there's Tyler Hansen. Oh, come on, and man. Splitter, and it's Hardaway in at the three. That's the group starting the second quarter for the Rockets. Oh, come on. This is the kind of crap the why I quit. They've come out in attack mode on the defensive end. They've applied pressure and forcing turnovers. Something else they've done right so far from the get-go tonight is is run. Oh, I mean, so wow. much of their offense has come Holy off crap. the fast break. Wow, what a clever pass that time by Chris Paul. Last season for Chris Paul, another strong season. Yeah, quite a year for him in terms Oh my of God! Play defense. He was as strong Come on. as ever on the court and off the court. And that's a great point. You know, he did kind of fly under the radar. It's hard to imagine a first team Hall of Famer in the future could do that. But a lot of it had to do with Steph Curry yes. kind of coming on to the scene, splashing there we go. on the scene, if you will. But he is still one of the top point guards in our league. Rockets leading by three. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. Kyle Korver, a true laser. I mean, the most efficient catch and shoot jump shooter in the league, and, and maybe in league history. And he tallied the second ever 50 50 90 season a year ago. Catching up on the changes for Houston. Larry Sanders is checked in for splitter. And Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Tim Hardaway Jr. And Denver with a change here, too. Noah's checked in. Here's Corver and lots of contact there. Missing the shot. He'll shoot two. Larry Sanders picks one up. Check out the game for Corver. He has eight points, and he's picked up six points from behind the arc. I, I love the rhythm his outside stroke has produced today. Denver shooting their first free throws of the evening. And Corver now in his 13th season. There in the NBA. Last season was his best ever, especially shooting. Yeah, and he credits all of his improvement to the advanced off-season training regimen. Extremely dedicated. He moved his family to Santa Barbara to be closer to his trainer and has paid off. Now here's Hayward. He has seven. Shot clock at six. Hensbro, the pass to Lawson. Floats one, shot is off. Yes, and the there we go. going the other way. And after this one, they're home against Minnesota. That game will be a quick pit stop before hitting the road again. Corver gets a wide open look. Boom! Freaking Kyle Corver, man. Corver's got He's eight points this quarter. Every shot I All these open threes put up. giving up have really been the driving force of this run. And the points are starting to add up in a hurry, especially when you're giving up those looks. <laughs> Right now, let's bring up the 2K leaderboard and see the teams that really knew how to clog the passing lanes last season. In third, the Rockets. Boy, they had so many guys with quick feet and quick hands on that team. I mean, they put relentless pressure on the opponent. And as a result, they came up with an awful lot of steals. I mean, this team has been very impressive defensively. Nice. You know, they've changed their game here in the second. Getting a little bit more physical, playing with some toughness now. And I'm looking for them to increase that lead if they can keep getting to the free throw line. Hayward outside. Will it go? It's hauled in by Noah. The Nuggets leading by four. Go, go, go. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They sure have been. I mean, really Dang it. good and sharp offensively. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball, and it's Corver off the drive. The shot no good. Come on. The Rockets have gone 50% from the floor in the second quarter, three of six. Well, looking back on last season, you could see the Rockets were tough at home. They 
just were relentless at going at teams. Yeah, how about a 30 and 11 record last year? And a lot of close ones for them, but that home crowd at times could just really will them to victory. As it did help in the series against the Clippers mm -hmm. last year in the playoffs. Here's Lee after Dante Exum's bucket. Six to shoot. And ah. Denver, no good. Rockets have gone four of seven from the field in this second quarter so far. Hayward goes in. Dang it. You guys, what do you think about the offensive approach so far that we've seen for the Nuggets? They definitely had a hot hand from three-point range. Always nice to get off to a good start. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. Catching up in the changes for Houston. Villanueva comes in for Hansi, and it's Butler in for Exum. Big group substitution here for Denver. Young's checked in for Lee. Bellinelli comes in for Trevor Ariza. Nick Galathis, he's checked in for Kyle Corver. And it's Watson in for Paul. Both nice. throws, good from Thaddeus Young. And, you know, for Houston's wins at home, a lot of it had to do with their three-point shooting. I mean, they shot an average of 35% from behind the arc at home, but kept their opponents to under 30% on the year in Houston. Now here's Hayward, tries from 10. And off the ah. left side of the rim, and it swirls in for him. Hayward's got 10 points. Denver's gotten off four shots from three-point range tonight and buried every one of them. And guys, this is what makes Houston so good and why they've been so good for so long. In the last 31 seasons, they've only had two losing oh. seasons. Only yeah. team in the league to do that. Well, they've good gone thing I got some good three-point shooters on my team. It really has, Clark. The defense unable to react as quickly as necessary in terms of dealing with their passing. Yeah! Oh, with the block. And the Nuggets pushing it up now. Bellinelli's got the ball. That's good. And now a six-point Denver lead. How about the way he's able to angle his body to shield the big fella off oh boy. and still get the finish? You've got to be clever with your sleight of hand when you get inside and try to finish against the bigger guys. And he made it. He, he made it look easy that time. They retain possession, and here's Denver. They're on a 20 to seven run. Young against Hayward feeds to Watson. And the yes. Falls. Watson's got his second bucket. How about the passing? They are moving the ball without any thought, without any individual agenda. Yeah, and it's really fun to see. Oh, that. oh yeah. So it's really hard not to appreciate all the assists they've racked up. So for the Rockets, Splitter comes in for Larry Sanders. And Hardaway is subbed in for Gordon Hayward. And Denver with a change here, too. Andrew Bogut, he's checked in for Noah. Now here's Villanueva, and it's Ooh. sent back by Bogut. There Just we go, Bogut. Between the shot clock and game clock, Watson for three. That was it's probably a little too far. Houston. Watson kicks to Buck. From 12 feet out, that's good. Oh, make you darn it. Your head and throw your hands up as a defender. I mean, you just don't know how to play it. Ah. Brings the first half to a close. Nuggets lead by six. And a chance now to right. send over to Doris Burke standing by good on stuff. the sideline. Doris? Thanks, Kevin. I'm here with David Lee. And David, tell David us what Lee. your approach was defensively in this game tonight. Well, we made some mistakes here and there. Our biggest thing is if we don't turn the ball over, I think we're going to be okay. They got a couple easy buckets to transition. Thank you for the time, sir. Guys, back yep. to you. Thank you, Doris. And we'll be back for the third quarter of action following halftime. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. All right. Let's see what we got here. Take a oh, cop. Oh, Ernie Johnson here again with say. Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. And an exciting time of the year as the first game of the regular season is halfway through. Kyle Korver having an outstanding game. He ended up with 15 points and one rebound. It's a great bounce back game for him. Not happy with his performance in their last outing. Tonight he's taking charge. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets first half. You know what jumps out at me? Their efficiency on the offensive end. 
They shared the basketball. Good shot selection. They showed a lot of patience, and that patience will be tested the rest of the way. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. I really like how they limited the turnovers. You know, they didn't play it too safe. They made some really nice passes. When you can play like this and cut back turnovers, it can add up to over 10, 8, 12, 15, 16 easy points, Ernie. I don't know how many points, a lot of easy points. They'll be in good shape if they can keep making the same smart plays. And that's going to do it for now as the second half is just about to get started. Now back to Kevin Harlan and the rest of the 2K Sports crew. We will right. see you later. Now my three-point conversions are freaking good. Yeah, five turnovers, though. That's bad. Here we go now, the start of the third quarter, welcoming you back in a closely contested right, first half go. so far. Nice game, great performance by Kyle Korver. And the approach of that first half was an aggressive one. Take it to the teeth of the defense, put them on the heels, and you're either going to score or get to the line. And mostly he's been getting to the line, guys. I mean, he has the free throw total. No! Oh, God Second half dang it. Here's who Mike Malone's got on the floor. Trevor Ariza out there with David Lee. Then there's Kyle Corbin. Then it's Chris Paul. And it's Noah in at the five spot. Well, looking back on last season, you didn't know where the Rockets would end up in terms of seeding. Yeah. The playoffs ended up with the two seed because they won the Southwest Division. And as it turned out, everything worked out very well for them. It really did. And had a divisional matchup in that first round against the Mavs. But the Rockets took care of business in that series and would have been. Nice. Denver leading by six. Corver up top. Lawson defending. There's David Boom. Lee. Assist by Corver. Another knockdown by David Lee. For David Lee. They've had assists now on their last three baskets. And it's not just their passing, but also the body movement off the ball that's created a lot of those opportunities. Now here's Hayward. Ten points for him. The pass to Hansbro. Lee with the block. Get that Lee out of here, boy. Second chance shot. Oh, get Hansbro that. misses. That's one for their first four to start the second half. Paul dishes to Corver. 90 seconds now into the second half. And it's Paul penetrating. And the oh. by Sanders. He gets stuffed down low. Wants in the pass to Sanders. And hands broke, kicks to Lawson. No good with the oh, he got stuffed. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. That's a two from Corver. Boom! Assist from Noah. Yes, that's why so I went at the good mid the game shooting. For Kyle Corver. Nice game. Great performance by Kyle Corver. He just continues to light him up. They're going to have to find a way to make him work harder for his points. Dante Edson is checked in for Ty Lawson. Two minutes into the second half of play now. Rockets trail by 10. Exum dishes to Sanders. Hayward goes in. The feed to Exum. Down to five on the shot clock. Unloads. Green for oh, you got that. Darn it. Exum's got his second bucket tonight. Denver with a tough year last season. A lot of losses for them on the road as they would go, what, Clark, only 11 and 30 away from the mile high city. Yeah, and Kevin, they ended the season right, on a five game go. road losing streak as well. I mean, they had mostly given up at that point as they had tried to develop young players and it just kind of blew up on them down the stretch. Here's Ariza after Dante Exum's bucket. Back to Paul. Picked by Lee. Paul passes to Lee. The 15. Boom. Good. Yeah. He's got the lead up to David 10 Lee. for Denver. Just impressed with the teamwork out there, setting the table for one another. Five straight baskets, Greg, resulting from assists. They're Come playing yes. one unit out there. A big problem for the Nuggets last year is that they just couldn't hit shots away from home. I mean, they finished in the bottom five in terms of field goal percentage on the road. Now, here's Ariza. Butler God dang it, I need to stop doing moves with and Trevor Ariza. He loses it every freaking time. Come on, rebound. Yes. That's something they need to do more of. 
get after it on the glass. Ah, get those balls. My God, I, I wish I could limit Some these freaking turnovers. Definitely man. help narrow the gap and maybe swing the momentum. Here is Hayward. No, He's wide open. He missed. Butler yes. Missing. Hey, I've got one more note on the Nuggets and the road. I mean, when you shoot as poorly as they did, as you mentioned, ah, you start shooting to with lose some confidence and second guess things. It's a lot harder to fight through shooting slumps. Boom! Like that in somebody yes. else's building, no doubt. Ooh, that's Jordan as forceful a finish as you're ever going to see out of this guy. Well, gee, it adds now to their lead in spectacular fashion. And you know that lead's only going. Oh to God! And they rebound. Yes. A little more staunchly than that. Now Ariza. After Gordon Hayward's three-pointer, they didn't go. Paul kicks to lead. Dang it! It's stolen by Hansbro. Turnovers, turnovers, and turnovers. God dang it! Stop. One forty-six left to play in the third. A shot by Hayward, wide open, and it's oh Hayward yeah. Just not much success when it comes to shooting. Ariza with the bucket, and the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. 10 straight points off assist. That's very impressive. And it also makes the game easy and fun to watch. Now, here's Butler. Screen by Sanders. Now, here's Exum. Covered by Lee. Four on the clock. No good on the shot. A bit long. Yeah. The Nuggets leading by 14. On the wing, Corver, and there's the three-second call. The? This one on the defense. What the freak? The Nuggets have been oh, excellent at the free okay. throw line here today. A flawless we'll six for there. six. And the technical yeah. free throw is good. And last year, not exactly up to Noah's lofty standards. It was way down in field goal percentage and free throw percentages uh, compared to the season before, but he did not play completely healthy all of last year. No, yeah, he missed. Up, like missed that. Games Darn it. More than he had the season prior, and, and also the minutes dropped as well. And you could just see him laboring at times on the floor, clearly uh, affected by those injuries. Dang it. The Nuggets on offense. They're on a 13 to 4 run. Now, here's Watson. Watson defending. Pulls from the top of the key. Watson's Any mess? Are you off. kidding me, Watson? As far as jump shots go, that's what you have to continue to try and get. I don't know how that one stayed out. The shot and game clock separated by four. He was. Oh my God! That. Seriously. Hardaway has got his third basket of the night. Uh, the Nuggets lead go, by go, ten. Go 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 go. And it's Paul penetrating. Trills the there baseline. There we go. Ball. There's 10 seconds left here in the third quarter. Outside Butler. The shot by Lawson, wide open. That misses, nice. but Connett had it gone there in. There we go. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. Denver on top, up by 12. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. Denver's got a terrific go, go, final go, go. six from beyond the arc in this game. We've got Charlie and going away. to pass to him, Carl but it worked out. out. With Lawson. Then there's Jimmy Butler. And it's Splitter in at the five. That's the five for Houston right now. Lawson outside. Oh, good. In and yes. out, off the rim. Nice. Not pretty. You just got to shake off a miss like that. Young with the ball. Now Lawson oh, defending. That was Bellinelli. Darn it. Might have made that. Bellinelli up top. To the wing right side. Down to five on the shot clock. Some nice ball movement by the Nuggets. Watson's shot Darn is it. off. The defense stop needs shooting to play watch. tight on him, and that's exactly what they did to force that miss. Well done. Hardaway, nice. no good. Well, he missed Denver it anyways. leading by 14. It's oh, deflected. come on. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nuggets will retain possession for the Rockets. Hansbrough's checked in for Villanueva. 
and Gordon Hayward is subbed in for Butler. And then for Denver, Trevor Ariza's checked in for Bellinelli. And it's Korver in for C.J. Watson. A little over a minute of the fourth quarter gone right now. Young dishes to Korver. Six on the shot clock. And stolen by Lawson. Oh, come on. And here we go with Lawson running it right up the court. The shot is good, and the Nugget lead is cut down to 12 on the bucket from Hayward. For Denver, they've gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. Outside for Korver. Pass to Kalathis. Back to Korver. Come on, someone get open. Hardaway with the steal. Come on! Oh, and a fast break for the Rockets. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Splitter. Nice D from Bogut. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about nice. it, Greg, it's been a there physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and and rough, but that's how you win games. And you know, Denver was not that good against the West last season, but they weren't as bad as you would have thought. Managed to get 19 wins against the rest of the conference, and we know how tough the West is, so that's not shabby. Doris Burke has some information for us. Doris. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Kevin McHale coaching his team during that break. What the freak? He doesn't that was think a delayed giving jump. It all, saying Action they've been there. quicker to rebounds to every loose ball. We gotta wake up. The game's slipping away, and we're letting it happen. We have got to take control of this thing. We'll see if he lit a fire under him, guys. And it's Corver off the drive. Come on, man. Paul, right side. Oh, come on. Well, and last year for the Nuggets, they were really searching, and they finished 12th in the Western Conference. Uh, Greg, they were 30 and 52. You know, not a great place to be. No, let's face no. It. I no. mean, Kevin, Denver never really had a shot at the postseason, but but weren't good enough to land a high draft pick out. Uh, well, that's a warm-up jumper afraid, there. I Noah. mean, when you're a pro. You can't make excuses for missing that. Here's Hayward, and there's the whistle. Fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Looking at the game for Hayward, he has 14 points, and he's put one three-pointer on the board. You know what, though, Clark? It wouldn't be a bad idea going forward to try to let him do a little more damage from beyond the arc. Dishes it to a reason. Oh, come on. Beyond the arc. The Rockets with another miss. Well, he had one three-pointer in the first half, but so far in the second, he's come up with goose eggs. Oh, okay. And it's still a close <laughs> game, I mean, despite the fact that they've struggled to compete on the board. Yeah, you know, but down the stretch here, guys, they'll summon that extra effort. Oh! <laughs> and, guys, you don't think this fella can do some major damage if he gets an opening to the rim. G.A., they just learned that lesson the hard way. They better <laughs> put a little bit more effort into their team the next time down. <laughs> Big time play at the basket right there, fellas. And the highlight reel replay brought to you by Kia. Good stuff on that Kia slam cam. Houston making a switch. Butler's checked in. Corver passes to a reason. And it's Corver off the drive. Shot clock at five. A reason over. Uh, man, I'm getting every freaking mess possible now. Hayward on the wing. A minute 50 left in the fourth quarter. From 10 feet out, that one wide left. Well, that's a bad miss right there. I mean, you'd like to see him be a little more assertive when he has such good position. A reason gets to Corbin. To the paint. Here's Noah. Uses the there we to go. finish the lane. And the Nuggets lead by nine. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. And the offensively, they've been struggling. He just wants to get them back into a good flow and stop forcing shots. Well, Greg, the misses started piling up. Things kind of snowballed on them in that regard. This is a good timeout to kind of calm his guys down and hit the reset button. Hansbrough is screen on Ariza. 
Hayward dishes to Sanders. Hayward outside. He kicks it to Hansbrough. The basket Dang it. the assist from Hayward. The screenplay worked ideally there, and I'm not talking about the screenplay you see in a movie theater. <laughs> Gave him more than enough room to get that shot off. The Nuggets lead by seven. 107 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Lawson's against Paul. Dish now to lead. So he gets the whistle. Contact on the way up and two shots coming up. Well, how about David Lee in this one? Ten points and two blocks. Dang it. He's been an intimidator down low. Even if a shot gets over him, he's pulling down the ball. You think, Clark, he's just in a total zone right now. We talk about zones for shooting. This guy is in a zone in terms of controlling the paint. Hayward's got space. No good off the front iron. They are really getting the work done inside with their rebound. That defensive backboard has been controlled. They have Boom. a lot of second yeah. chances. It's been about one and done for the most part. And I'm not talking about leaving college. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know you're not. That's um, a bunch of good rebounding taking place there, boy. Now a timeout called by Houston. They trail by 10. There's 39 seconds left in the fourth quarter. What do you think, guys? Yeah, they, they can game plan all they want, but unless they can put more time on the clock, I think this bad boy's over. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what they hope to get accomplished um, with this time out here. Looking at who's out there now for the Rockets. Splitter is checked in for Sanders. Villanueva comes in for Tyler Hansbrough. Hardaway's checked in for Gordon Hayward. And it's Dante Exum in for Ty Lawson. Here's Kalathis. It's off. Oh. <laughs> so it's the Nuggets winning. Wow, I won the game. Holy crap. I can't believe win, it. <laughs> a comfortable win in what was, I think, G, a pretty hostile one. I think I freaking really you limit my turnovers. That was a bad road, amount of turnovers I had this game. With that tonight. And time now to go courtside as we send you over to Doris Burke from the sideline. Doris? Chris, how does a win like this help propel the team at this point in the schedule? Uh, hopefully it gives us a little momentum. We got a tough stretch coming up. We got our back-to-back -back next week, so hopefully it just gives us a little momentum. It was a pretty good start, Chris. Thank you. Kevin, back to you. All right, Doris. Great job. All Thanks. Right. The 2K Sports post-game show. Post-game show. All right, let's watch this. Thank you, Kevin. And now we have the opportunity to present our Jordan player of the game, Kyle Korver. I'll give it to Kyle Korver. When he's shooting the basketball like this, he can blow a game wide open. There's not many guys that's ever, not in the league now, but ever played the game that can shoot like he can. Well, he showed us just how good he can be when he's at the top of his game. And the building was stunned. You saw people leaving early, throwing popcorn, throwing hot dogs, spilling soda. He put on a CSDP, a crowd shut down performance. Man, that's what oh. I'm talking about, Ernie. Aha. And that's it for our broadcast here tonight. But we're just getting started on a new season in the NBA for Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew. I'm Ernie Johnson. We'll see you again soon. All right. So, all right, they, uh, Hayward, Gordon Hayward got their most points. Kyle Korver got mine. So five and six. Pretty decent shooting. Not very good shooting by C.J. Watson. Actually, Chris Paul was kind of low percentage as well. Uh, not much else, really. I was curious to see how many turnovers I had this game. I had a bunch of turnovers, but how the heck do I... Fouls, defensive rebounds... Yeah, Kyle Korver had a big game. Chris Paul had a lot of assists, at least. Wonder here, team comparison. 
point, had a higher percentage, higher percent point three pointers, free throws. Yeah, had more assists. Steals. They had look at that. Nine freaking steals. Are you kidding me? Had eleven turnovers. Oh my god. Goodness. Biggest lead was by 15. And our time of position was very close to each other. Within a minute, pretty much. Alright. Decent game. 